Morning guys, Alex from South Coast DV. Hope you're well. Thanks for returning to watch this current video. Uh, so today we're in Bournemouth. We're going to fit an Easy One EV charger. I'll just show you uh, what we're installing. And here we've got. We're going to use some uh, Doncaster cables EV Ultra. Even though the Easy doesn't require it, it just means in the future that if they change their charger for something that needs a CT clamp or data, it's going to be ready to go for that. Of course, obviously we've got the Easy One EV charger here in the box like so, ready to roll. We've got a fuse box, four-way consumer unit that's going to have surge protection and a double pole 32 amp Taipei fuse box RCBO. Got the surge protection kit here and then obviously we've got our tails, Henley blocks etc. We'll bring you over this one. It's basically in this cupboard we're going to mount our consumer unit around there somewhere. We're going to bring some tails down into Henley blocks the other side of the wall and then we're going to come out this cupboard I'm going to go all the way along here, I'm going to come underneath the kitchen window and then the easy one's going to go around there somewhere. So we're going to get all our gear out and then we're going to crack on, check back in a bit. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. So we've got the charger on the wall now, as you can see there, we've got the Easy One charger on. Uh, as I said earlier, we've used uh, EV Ultra with a Cat 5V, although this doesn't require it. It just means in the future, if we were to change this for another charger that does need a CT or a hardwired data connection or whatever, it's ready to go. Um, the Pete's down in the cupboard over there, where we, I'll show you in a sec, where we're fitting the consumer unit. And uh, basically we've run the cable along there using linear cleats, as we always do. Uh, if we go over here, I'll just jump over Pete. We've got a fuse box consuming it there. We've got tails coming up from just the other side of the wall. And as they come through the wall, we've uh, basically installed um, some 25 mil copex through the wall just to give it some protection. Um, so we've got that coming up over there. And then we're going to have surge protection in there. We're going to have the double pole, single mod RCBO, and uh, obviously the main switch, etc. Control gear. So while Pete cracks on with that, I'm going to get the test out ready. So then we can do some R1, R2 shortly that sort of thing. Um, I've already got the easy setup on the installer app and uh, transfer to the cloud for the customer. So once we're all done with our part of the install, we liven up, we're ready to get him downloaded and set up uh, so he can charge his hybrid car, which is just here. I believe this is the Vauxhall um, Grand Led X. Um, quite a nice looking car actually in red. Um, but yeah, check back in a bit and I'll give you a bit more of an update. So the charging uh, ends all done. That's all second fix now. We've got the easy one on the wall with the black front cover. Uh, EV Ultra running along with the linear clips. I'll just show you in the cupboard as to what Pete's done in here. So we've got um, got a fuse box. Let's just get in a bit better. We've got a fuse box consuming it in four usable ways. We've got the surge protection here. It's the main switch. MCB for the surge protection. And then we've got a 32 amp um, compact. Taipei RCBA, which is double pole uh, for the UV charger to meet those requirements. So Pete's just getting the tails connected uh, the other end. Now they go through down there. And then we've got some copex in the wall to protect them as they break through. Uh, so he's just doing that in there, the Henley blocks, isolating power, etc. And then obviously putting our tails in to get the feed out to this. We'll then do our ZE, PFC, uh, and all the obviously the live tests. Uh, we've already done the R1, R2, and IR, etc. And uh, so yeah, it should be the live test left to do. Um, we've just say again, we've used uh, EV Ultra with the Cat5, just uh, so in the future, if he does change the vehicle, uh, sorry, the charger to one that requires it, whether it's for a CT or data, hardwired internet connection, whatever, uh, it's ready to go. It's just, we find it easier to do it that way. So then if we do come back in the future to swap it out for something else that's um, more current at the time, it's uh, got all the, the cabling can stay and the circuit protection should be fine also. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. And uh, I'll give you, give you a bit more of an update in a little while. Still for the Vauxhall Grand Next Hybrid. Um, so we've got the car on charge at the moment. Um, it's always good when they've got the car here and then we can physically plug it in. Although the EVSE tester sort of simulates the charge, it's always nice to actually plug it into the, the vehicle in hand. Um, so that's on charge now. It's a hybrid. 
I think it's got about a four hour charge time on this uh, with it being a hybrid, it's got roughly a 30 mile range. Uh, so I'll walk you through what we've done. Obviously we're at the charger now, so we'll start here. Uh, so the customer wanted the easy one in black, um, probably the smartest one to be fair. It looks good on any building in any finish. And then we've got the 6me, <laughs> hey, the 6me, the 6m EV Ultra with the Cat 5e future proofing. And then we've used linear clips uh, along, comes all the way along here. It's quite a short run actually. Um, comes along here under the doorstep. And then basically we make our way into this little cupboard in here. We've got a fuse box four way consumer unit. That's got surge protection. It's got the MCB for the surge protection. And then it's got the double pole um, C curve 32 amp type A RCBO. So that's all that. We've got our sticker on there from stickers and that. And then underneath here, we've got the next inspection sticker and obviously testing the RCD, etc. Tails go through the wall via some 25 mil copex. And then internally, we've got some Henley blocks um, bringing our supply out to here. Um, so that's it for this one. We've got a couple of jobs to go and look at now. Um, but uh, if I didn't say so at the start, if you've watched a few of our videos before and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and also head over to the Instagram page and see what we've been up to on there. So thanks for now, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.